Greetings all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Brian's Bible Break. A little bit late today at a board meeting this morning. And uh, we're reading from Psalm number 75, reading from the New Living Translation and reading verse 2. And let's begin with a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this glorious day and we are so grateful for all the ways that you bless us, the ways that you use us and encourage us and help us uh, on our way and so lord we come into your holy presence to pause and to reflect on your word we pray oh god that you will guide us into a deeper understanding of your will and lord that you would quiet within us any voice but your own in the name of jesus christ in whose precious name we pray amen so reading from psalm 75 verse 2 God says, at the time I have planned, I will bring justice against the wicked. We spoke yesterday in Psalm 74 about the, the cries of our hearts, how long, O God, how long? And that is the cry of so many hearts, wondering how long the wicked will prosper, how long evil will be allowed to continue to be um, uh, seen in our world today. How long will it be before God steps in and makes all things right? Who makes all things new? The promise that we have in, in Revelation. And so in this very next psalm, we have this, almost this answer to the how long question. Verse 10, verse 2 says, At the time I have planned. And we pause on that and we think, Okay. At the time God has planned. So the answer to how long is just that. God has determined the timing for everything. God has set the seasons in motion, he has set the time in motion, he has laid out the days that he has prepared for each one of us and written them on the palm of his hand. He's written um, the days of our lives in, the, in his book. He has worked all these things out. And he has a time for everything. As Ecclesiastes says, there's a time for everything under the sun. And God has done it. And so the answer to that, to the how long question is, at the time I have planned. And that may not be particularly comforting to us, because we want to know. We want to know when. We want to know so that we can be prepared. And of course, Jesus taught that in, in the Gospels. And he said, it's not for the Son to know the time or the day when the Father has determined his return. And if Jesus doesn't know, then who are we to think that we should know? And Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, tells us in, in chapter 55 that our, his ways are higher than our ways. And his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And so we have to trust God that he has determined all these things. And we have this assurance in this psalm. At the, at the time I have planned, in other words, at the time God has planned, he will bring justice against the wicked. So we don't need to worry about it. We don't need to concern ourselves about it. We don't need to worry about the wicked or the evil in our world and the and the, the seeds of deceit and destruction that they sow. We don't need to worry about Satan and 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 the fact that he is running rampant in our world today, causing all kinds of of evil and destruction in our world today. We don't need to worry about it. Because we have this assurance in the psalm that at the time that God has planned, 
he will bring justice against the wicked. In other words, he will hold the wicked to account. He will hold the evil to answer for all of their destructive ways. They will be judged. Indeed, when we read a little bit farther on in verse 8, it says, uh, verse 7 and 8, It is God alone who judges. He decides who will rise and who will fall. It's verse 7, verse 8. For the Lord holds a cup in his hand that is full of foaming wine mixed with spices. He pours out the wine in judgment, and all the wicked must drink it, draining it to the dregs. There's another scene of the cup. This time Jesus, found in Luke chapter 22 and verse 42. Jesus prays to the Father, Lord, if it is at all possible, take this cup of suffering, this cup of wrath, this cup of evil from my hand, this cup of sin from my hand. But not my will be done, but yours. See, Jesus drank this cup on our behalf. And he drank it to the dregs on our behalf. He took upon himself the judgment that was due us. And he bore our sins upon himself on the cross at Calvary, shedding his blood for our sake. And so, friends, we may cry out, How long, O Lord? But we need to trust that the Lord has set a plan out. He has a plan and a purpose for each one of us. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, I have a plan for you, declares the Lord, a plan for you to prosper and not to harm you, a plan for future and hope. That's the plan that God has for the righteous, for those who are in Christ, for those who are seeking to walk humbly with him. And he also has a plan that at, at the time that he has planned, he will bring justice against the wicked. And so, friends, we needn't worry. We need only trust in him, that he's got this. He is Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He is sovereign and seated on his throne, and nothing Nothing in all creation goes beyond his sight. And nothing in all creation can separate us from his love that is revealed to us in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so friends, take hope this day. Don't, don't allow yourself to be downcast or discouraged. Take hope in the truth that God has a plan and he is ex executing his plan according to his will and according to his time for his glory. All we need to do is trust in him. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for this day. We pray, O oh God, that you will continue to guide and uphold us with your love and your grace, that you will pour out your wisdom upon us, that you will help us to minister to the weak, to share the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ with those who have ears to hear, to reflect his love and his grace, to be his light in an otherwise dark and broken world. 
Father God, use us as instruments of your grace and your mercy. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me this, this afternoon. <laughs> it is afternoon. This afternoon for this short reflection on God's word, I hope that it has been an encouragement to you. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we unpack another verse from God's holy scriptures. So friends, go in peace. The Lord bless you and keep you this day and always. Amen. See you tomorrow, friends.